trying to work up, work out some kinks with some people. All right, five, four, three. Hey, world, how are you? Let me give it a second here. Hey, world, how are you? My name is Kamal J. Pryor. I'm the proud founder and CEO of Quizmax, Inc. I am joined with you today with a Quizmax Presents Branding Made Easy with Mr. Brian Lapp. He, uh, he is so kind as to join us here on our webinar, and he's going to be discussing some wonderful things with us today in regard to domain and domain naming and things like that. So, uh, Brian, let's get it started. Uh, introduce yourself to the people out here at home, and I'm, I'm going to get into a couple of things, and then we'll get, get started with the stuff that you want to talk about. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Liz. And uh, this is a new thing we are doing, brand new. And... Um, my name is Brian Lathe. I have brandingmadeeasy.com, and that is a domain name. I'm just getting started, and basically what I'm going to be doing on that domain name is I'm going to be taking the tools that we have with Ingresso and showing people how they can brand themselves with a blog, start to build you know, an, a list with autoresponders, and basically how they can use the tools that are available with Ingresso to brand themselves so that they can... Uh, capture leads, they can uh, develop a rapport with those people and then bring those those people into into business with them. So that's the whole goal of that website. And the this webinar is a weekly series every Sunday night here. We're going to do this at 10 p.m. Eastern time every Sunday night. And I'll just have a quick little training to start it off with. And then from there we will go to question and answer. And so I want you to come here every Sunday night, bring some questions related, basically related anything to internet marketing. So basically the topic is wide open and um, myself and Quiz and other people on the panel will do our very best to answer the questions. So what I'd like people to do is there is a function that allows us to chat. There's an Ingresso uh, app on, hopefully on the left side of your screen. I want you to click on that and go into the chat. And then if you have anything to say while we're um, talking, I'd like you to type that in there, and, uh, and that'll kind of help us help us go and proceed with the uh, with the webinar. So I know there's I know there's two ways to chat, but the one I'm going to be watching is the Ingresso chat. So um, my topic for tonight is the importance of having your own domain name, and so this is a really really introductory topic in, in internet marketing. Um, a lot of people maybe have um, been familiar with a domain name. Um, you can get a domain name from places like GoDaddy.com. Okay, another one is Namecheap.com, and those those are the two uh, that I know that are really popular with internet marketers because they generally have the best prices. Now, I want to also let you know that there are some other uh, places out there that sometimes offer domain names for a dollar or ninety nine cents. And um, what I've found with some of those domain name providers is they, um, they will tie that domain name around some kind of product and they won't necessarily give you all of the advantages that you really get with having a domain name. So I'm, right. I'm going to take that and I'm going to go right into all the advantages that if you get a domain name from GoDaddy or Namecheap, um, or Ingresso as well, because when you pay the $25 a month subscription with Ingresso, Ingresso actually um, pays for your first year of your registration. So wow. it's kind of a side, side benefit of being in that business. But here, here are the benefits that you should have with your own domain name. Okay, first of all, um, I don't know if, if my uh, thing here... My little, well, Brian, uh, before you, before you get into this, I know, that this yes. is a, I know this is new information for a lot of people at home. And I want to make sure that you guys understand that this is this is part of being an entrepreneur. Being an entrepreneur, we're responsible for figuring out uh, some of the questions, some of the problems, some of the tactical issues that we're going to face along the way with getting ourselves from the next level. So I wonder if you if you don't mind, do you mind if I give them a little bit introductory into into what kind of what it takes to be an entrepreneur, and then we kind of finish off with the uh, with the domain name stuff because I want to I want you to get specific information. And I know that you have a, a short training here, but I don't want anybody to be lost. I want you to know that um, there are a lot of people out there who are in situations that they don't like and they're miserable. For example, there's somebody out there who is that hates their job. 
all right? And they get up and they go to their job every single day, but they can't stand it. Well, there's an alternative. You could be an entrepreneur. You know, if you hate your job, then become an entrepreneur. It makes perfect sense. Now, to become an entrepreneur, nobody's going to drop it into your lap. The things that we're going to talk about in these series are things that are going to help you out to develop you and strengthen you because you're going to have to have fortitude in order to become an entrepreneur and a successful one. So listen, somebody thinks, well, I want to be an entrepreneur, but uh, I don't necessarily know if I could do it. And they're going to have fear. And fear is the killer of dreams. Let me just share that with you. So I'm going to make another suggestion to you. Keep your full-time job. Take up a part-time business. Keep your full-time job. Take up a part-time business. Work at this. Work at this. It's going to take you a while to catch up with Brian Lath. This guy's got 20, 22 years worth of experience, but he's giving you basic information today that a person who's only been in for a week can begin to apply to themselves, and we want to see you all succeed. So I want to let you guys know there's a couple of different things. Um, there's a couple of different things that are really important, and I'm going to be very brief here. You know, um, and there's, there's basically a hierarchy to building a business, a successful business for yourself, especially if you want to have one that's successful and accumulate a bunch of wealth. And a lot of people are not prepared for success because they think, oh, well, I'm going to get successful and I'm going to make money and I'm going to make money, I'm going to make money, I'm going to make money. But listen, let me share something with you. Um, when you start to make money, there are big obstacles that are going to, uh, come, that are going to uh, come to you. All right. And the big question is, are you going to be able to survive your first five years in business? Why are you going to be able to survive your first five years in business? All right. Now, so as an entrepreneur, when you start making money, you have to understand that there are two major obstacles that are going to slam dance you when you if you if you do start making a whole bunch of money. I'm going to tell you what they are. They're going to be taxes and they're going to be lawsuits. They're going to be taxes and lawsuits. So your job as an entrepreneur is to make uh, to make money, pay less tax. All right. And get sued less. And now somebody out there doesn't even understand what I'm talking about when I say that. So let me break down the hierarchies of value when it comes to building a big company on your own. Now at the bottom, I'm going to set up like let's say we're doing a pyramid, right? At the bottom, you have cash flow. That's capital. Capital coming in, capital going out. You're going to have to spend money. You have to pay for employees. You might have to pay for overhead, things of this nature. That's where your cash flow, that's all in your cash flow area. And that's very important at the foundation of your business. It's realistic to expect you're going to have to spend some expenses. Brian's going to talk about domains. That is an expense. You might have to spend for your domain name to get yourself started if you want to be successful, that is. And that's the difference between somebody succeeding and somebody failing quite naturally. So you want to make sure that you, you, you fundamentally ground yourself with cash flow, with a, some sort of realistic expectation of money you're going to spend out, money that you're going to be bringing in for your work and your efforts in your business. Next is communication. Communication would include sales, marketing, and promotion, you may need to delegate some of that cash flow towards your communication level. All right, the next thing is systems. System is in place to help you succeed. All right, and if you really want to take your business to the next level, all right, um, and you want to make a fortune, you're going to want to make your brand legally. We're talking about the baby steps of making a brand right now with building a domain. Eventually, you're going to want to probably protect your brand and you want to do that legally because, like I said, the two things that slam you, slam dance you when you are wealthy are taxes and lawsuits. Taxes and lawsuits, they're going to hit you. And the most important thing at the hierarchy is your product. Can you develop a product? Can you actually develop a product that's going to have a usable thing? Now, fortifying the walls of this pyramid, you're going to find leadership. You're going to find team. And at the base of this, you're going to find a mission. And your mission should be your why. Why are you doing this? And your why has to be greater than just money because your obstacle is going to be greater than your finances. And a lot of times, it's going to be easier to quit than it's going to be to succeed. So if you're not, if you don't have the fortitude to be a successful entrepreneur and you want to maybe give it a try, then keep your full-time job, but take up a part-time business. And one of the most important things, if you are going to get tired, if you do not like your job, then you don't have to hate your job. You have to just hate your job a little bit. You have to hate your, you have to hate you have to hate your job more than you hate um, you know trying something new. All right, and if you're willing to try something new, then you'll be able to succeed. But in order to succeed, you have to be realistic. So it's going to take a lot of time. It's going to take a lot of energy. It may take a lot of trial and error. Error. So you always want to be self-assertive, self-self um, self-assessing yourself, 
is one of the most important, crucial keys to business. Now, I just gave you this precursor here because some of you out here watching this did not understand the importance of creating a brand for yourself or going out and getting a domain name that you're going to be able to sustain yourself or putting some thought into the domain name that you're creating. So if you have not thought or entertained these things, then now is the time that you do some self-assessment and understand if you're serious about your business, then you have to get serious about yourself, start on the foundation, the foundation levels of your business, uh, entrepreneurship level, and let's work on the cash flow because an entrepreneur will find a way to make it happen. Somebody's going to say, hey, you know what? I want to get into this business, but I don't have any money. Well, that's your job as an entrepreneur to figure out where you're going to make it from, how you're going to get it. Now, once you start putting your thinking cap on, that's when you'll start making sound decisions. And there's nothing more sound than beginning by having a brand. Now, a branded by Brian was actually, uh, Brian, why don't you tell us a little bit about where you came up with that name and why you feel that that's a good name. And then I'll carry on with the rest of your lesson because I, I, I think that they needed to hear this. Hey, Chris, can I just touch on something you just said? Yes, yeah, certainly. Yeah, I, I, I like what you said about, you know, keeping your job because you know people that do have jobs they can they can use they can use whatever little bit of money they have to to try to finance their business right um, to get to get it going and it's good to do that i mean i that's that's what i've done and so you know whatever little bit of money i have i use to finance my business so that i can eventually get out of my job and right so, um so that's that's a really that's a really good thing to teach people because because you know, don't quit your job. You know, relying on this pipe dream that may not ever happen. But you know, keep your job and 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 look at something, find something that that you think is really going to work, and invest in that any little bit of money you have. But keep your job to pay your bills, and then invest whatever little bit of money you have after that to buy into your business to help it grow and to become more productive, so that eventually you won't have to work that job. I agree with you wholeheartedly, Mike. Wholeheartedly, Mike. Absolutely. And um, and on that note, um, want to move on because we only have a, a limited amount of time here. Uh, Brian, talk a little about uh, how you came up with your branded by Brian uh, or branding made easy. Part of me and how you feel so that's a strong name as far as branding goes and the importance of this leading into the rest of the lesson that you have for us for this evening. Thank you very much, uh, Michael. Uh, um, Bri um, Brian, you're gonna have to uh, turn your mic on. Unfortunately, your mic, your mic is uh, your mic isn't on, Brian. Okay, sorry about that. Th thank you, Michael, for your uh, for your contribution. I actually want to add to what you say. I've actually been able to be full time in network marketing before. Actually, where network marketing was actually making me more money than my job was, so I was able to leave my job. And unfortunately. Um, I, you know, as network marketers, unfortunately, we, we don't always have control over everything, and that company, uh, unfortunately, went out of business. So um, I don't have income still, so I've had to go back and get a job. But um, in the future, um, what, for me, my personal desire is I actually want to have multiple checks um, in network marketing, so therefore I have a better chance of actually staying full time, you know, when that opportunity presents itself. So. Um, part of my desire is actually to to build multiple checks, and uh, I'm going to go on to what we're actually talking about tonight, and that's uh, the branding made easy and how we came upon that. I, as I mentioned, I do have a job, and I I drive a courier job late at night, and uh, Quiz is a very wonderful guy. He lets me uh, he lets he lets me call him late at night, and we did a brainstorming session. I told Quiz what I wanted to do as far as I want to build this site that 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 brands me and it it uh, shows other people that I want to use the Ingressel tools to to brand themselves. And we came up with a lot of we were brainstorming a lot of ideas and um, some of them were actually kind of cute and funny. But I didn't I didn't know if it just really had the image that I wanted to do. And uh, we eventually, I'm not sure quite how, but we eventually came up with the idea of branding made easy, and I kind of liked the, the letters, I'm not sure, I, th I believe it was me, I kind of liked the letters, the capital letters E and the capital letters Z at the end. But uh, so I've, I went and checked on, uh, on GoDaddy, that's where I usually check to see if a domain name is available, and it was available. 
So I had an open position within Ingresso to request a free domain name. So I've, I've actually got this registered and hosted now through Ingresso. So I'm really, really happy with that. I've got a blog on there, but there's no content yet. But we're going to get some, some going. Um, starting with these webinars, I'm going to be putting those up there as some of the initial content on that site. So um, I'm going to read a little bit of notes out here off of an article I just read on why a domain name is important. And essentially, a domain name gives you credibility. Having your own domain name lends a professional touch to your business. Whenever a new visitor reaches your site, chances are they are going to look at the address bar and see where that you know where that link is taking them. And if when they see that domain name, that's a, a valuable first impression that, that that this site visitor, which hopefully is your prospect, will see about you. Okay. Um, the domain name is hopefully unique, and it's also something that will be memorable. So, as I'm as I'm building my brandingmadeeasy.com domain name, I I want that to be something uh, later down the road um, when I have you know hundreds to you know several hopefully several thousands of people watching my webinars on a weekly basis, they will be able to easily remember how to reach me through the through the domain name. So that's another advantage. You can also um, have email addresses with your domain name, and within um, within the hosting that Ingresso provides, there's a utility called cPanel, and you can simply log into your cPanel, and basically you have access to all of the email that is associated with your domain name. And what I what I would encourage you to do. Um, even though you are able to actually host your email at the domain name hosted by Ingresso, I would encourage you to set up what's called an email forwarder uh, to, to a Gmail account because Gmail actually is really good email. It's a really good email hosting provider. And you can simply have, like say I have brandingmadeeasy.com. I can have Brian at brandingmadeeasy.com as my email address. And I, I don't have that set up right now, but I could. And I could forward all that email to a Gmail account, and I could also set up my Gmail to send a mail that it looks like it's coming from my my domain branded email. So th that's all um, a wonderful feature that um, even improves beyond having a website. It makes your email look extremely professional. Okay, so um, the other thing, the last comment I want to mention about having a domain name is when you when you actually own your own domain name, it gives you the maximum potential to optimize the, the SEO, which is the search engine optimization. Um, and that's as you're building content and as you're um, constantly driving traffic to your domain, you are eventually going to be concerned about something called SEO, search engine optimization. And that is when people search on the search engines, they uh, can find you organically just by the search itself and not, not any kind of a paid advertising you find. Actually, 80% of Google traffic does go to the organic search results that Google provides. Only 20% goes to the paid advertising that is on the very, very top and the right-hand column. So. Um, it's the best advertising, and if you know how to do it, um, you're just you're just employing a few strategies within your blog. You're not really paying for that. So that is all. The SEO strategies, by the way, are some topics that we will be discussing um, in a couple upcoming future lessons here. So a quiz. Uh, there's only one more thing I want to say about domain names, and that's. Um, like when we have a business, if there's any kind of business or anything we're promoting on a regular basis, they usually give us an affiliate link. And that affiliate link is usually very long and has some very specific um, ID numbers or other kind of username codes that might be, you know, with a domain name and all the different characters, you might have a question mark or something within this very long URL. Um, some of those characters might be very, very hard for somebody to memorize if, say for example, um, you were in a really hurry, you gave them out this URL, 
and maybe they forgot where your Facebook message was or your email or something and they really wanted to go visit your link or they wanted to attend your webinar or something. Um, with a, with a, a domain name, you can forward in several unique ways. Okay, You can forward at the subdomain level. You can also, uh, through WordPress, which is very, very easy to install, there's a free plug-in to WordPress called Pretty Link Lite. And within Pretty Link Lite, you can create forwarding. It'll look just like if anybody's ever used the Bitly links, it'll look just like a Bitly link except you can actually um, create as many of those you want and it'll give you the tracking um, for that. You know, it'll tell you how many people click that link and so forth. But those, these are all really easy to set up and um, I'll provide, if anybody needs it, I'll provide tutorial videos and so forth to show you know, how easy this is and that'll continue to allow you to use your branding with your domain name as you're promoting um, any kind of link you want to, and then you'll be able to also see the tracking, how many people actually went and clicked it. So, um, Quiz, I've said everything I wanted to say about domain names, so we can, uh, if there's anything else you want to say, we can uh, either talk about that or jump right into the question and answers. Actually, what I'm going to do is uh, I'd like to get a, get a couple of questions out here uh, answered. First, first off, I'd like to thank you very much, uh, uh, Brian, because, I mean, that is valuable information right there. I mean, um, First off, you went over a couple of places where you could get uh, domains, which is awesome. And uh, for those who missed out, we spoke a little bit about a, a few different places like uh, GoDaddy and whatnot. And then also the value of hosting and the value of actually utilizing a domain name to actually draw your attention, draw your eyeballs, and, uh, and, and make everybody be able to be very familiar with you. Another thing I also thought was really key that you said was about how to create your domain and uh, basically link a domain, an uh, email with your domain. I thought that was awesome. Uh, and uh, the little tidbits about using the Gmail to kind of uh, to kind of mask and create the uh, the um, the the uh, the, G, the, uh, the email associated with your domain name. I I have a question regarding uh, how you're successful pulling off of utilizing your your email in conjunction with your domain name. Um, Basically, you ran through a little overview about how Gmail is, is optimal for that sort of thing, and I'm finding a whole bunch of other cool things about Gmail. Um, so are you saying that basically you can take a Gmail account and, and kind of transform it into your customized uh, domain name? Is that what you were really saying there, Brian? Yes, absolutely. Through the, through the settings within your, within your Gmail account, um, I'm not exactly, you can't remember offhand which tab it is you have to get into, but there, there is a way... Um, where you can customize the from, the sender. So when somebody receives your email and they look who, you know, the sender, who the from came from, they'll see, you know, for example, the example I gave, like Brian at brandingmadeeasy.com, they'll see your domain name. So that's, uh, that's exactly what you can set up. It'll look real professional and real branded to you. Awesome, awesome. And uh, so at this point, I want to uh, be able to get a couple of other questions here answered. Is, did anybody uh, have any questions about what Brian just covered? Because I think that this information is really valuable, and it's definitely the first step to becoming uh, successful. On, well, I, I wouldn't say the first step, but it's definitely one of them. Uh, knowing that you have to create a name that's unique to yourself uh, is something that one of, my, one of my main things. Quizmatics Inc. Uh, came from a brand that I had created. I already had a, a nickname I was already using as Quiz. I know that there's somebody else out there that's going to say that they're Quiz, so I wanted to define myself further, and it became Quizmatics. And let's say somebody came along and tried to emulate those two things. I wanted to make sure that they understood what that stood for, my INK, Independent Network Knowledge, so I attached that, Quizmatics Inc. All right, and then I further expanded my brand to define it further so somebody could just get it as soon as they watched it, social media professionals. And, and that's kind of how it goes. You can kind of link things together and associate them with, with yourself and then keep it moving and hashtags and, and other things like that come into play. So um, were there any other questions out here on the panel uh, before we get into some, uh, into some other stuff here? Hey, I have a question, Brian. Um, do, you, do you currently use a Click Magic product? And if you do, what do you think about that product? Um, Michael, is is that a uh, 
Is that like a link tracking service? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, Click Magic is a uh, yeah, it's a tracking software, and you can uh, you can you know use a domain, and then you can add you know you can uh, use your your domain to you know to add subdomains for various different you know links that you want to put on the web, and uh, it's I've been using it. It's a pretty cool software. I just was curious if you were using it, and if you were, what you thought about uh, that program. I have been using um, a service. I'm going to see if I can get into screen share here. Here it is. Okay, does everybody say, see track me here on the screen? Yes, we do. Okay, so this is the one I use, and I'm gonna, I'll log in here. Um, I I honestly don't know if it's if it's better or worse. I've been using this one for a couple of years. Now, what I'm able to do with this one, the reason I like it, is I'm able to track links, and links are in the blue here. Um, so within one little uh, window, um, these are. These are like my new visitors to my site. These, these this blue bar, the um, the purple are banners. So I'm also displaying banners on my website and other website. Um, so I can uh, very easily set up uh, banners and watch how many impressions they're getting. And then a counter is a code I can display. If you've ever seen, if you've ever gone to a website, and it shows you how many people are visiting their website. That's essentially what this is, but it's it's a it's a code that I can put on a website that um, won't necessarily display a number. I I, I believe I could cause it to display a number, but I don't use it for that purpose. I use it for um, you know a purpose to see how many people are visiting certain websites. But I don't, as you see, that one's kind of tra tracking along the zero right now. I don't have that one currently set up, but through one graph I can see various things. Now what I what I like about the banners is the banner goes by the size the size dimensions of the banner and if I want to let's say let's say I bought some banner space on somebody's website if I want to run multiple banners within the impressions that I I bought from them I can set that all up through this track me service and I can I can say okay let's say I, I have a thousand impressions a month from a certain website and I want 500 to go for a certain banner and 250 and 250 to go for the other two banners, I can set all of that up and manage that all um, through this program. And, and I can click on the banner um, thing on the left here, and it, it'll tell me exactly um, you know, which, which banners got clicked and all kinds of stuff. It'll, it, it's really incredible. Um, so I can I can also set up domain names and, and, and other things associated with the links. So like here there says custom domain names. So I can I can have um, you know custom domain names go through here. And then this this particular one is only nine ninety five a month. And every time I refer somebody to this particular service, I get a thirty percent commission. So I don't know, Michael, did, is the one did the one you mentioned. Did, did that one offer a commission? As, like if you referred somebody else to it? Uh, Michael. All right, maybe we lost Mike. I'm not okay. exactly sure. But um, we definitely know about the one that you have with TrackMe, and obviously it's a pretty, pretty quality service. So um, I'll let you elaborate from there, Brian. Yeah, so that, that's basically all I wanted to say about TrackMe is um, – Tracking is at the copper level of 110 method. Um, it gets into the importance. I haven't fully finished that training yet, but it gets into the importance of of um, tracking everything basically associated with your uh, with your marketing, so you know which marketing is working for you and which marketing is not working for you. And um, I believe that track, you know, the track me service. I'm calling it track me. I believe that service will do a good enough job. I'm, I'm so I want to go through all that training and make sure that it's it's a high quality enough service to continue. Um, you know, as I'm starting to 
to get some paid traffic. That is actually, I'm getting the most bang for my buck on that. Fantastic, fantastic. Anybody else have any questions in regard to uh, the, the wonderful information that Brian is sharing with us? Uh, Eve Rose, do you have any questions about any of this? Or perhaps, um, or perhaps um, 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 Sean, since you've been through the whole presentation as well. Um, I would I would just like to say the information that Brian gave me was very useful because, like for instance, I do that. I have a cell phone, and I link all my Gmails go to my emails through my Twitter. Everything goes through one, but it shows up on four different things. But it all links into one. So I don't know if it does that on computers or not, but it seems like. All the stuff you're saying, I can do. I just didn't know how to do it. So the information you gave me was very useful. So thank you, because <laughs> I can definitely use it to my advantage now. Absolutely. And, and like they used to say in this old uh, cartoon I used to watch when I was a kid in G.I. Joe, no one is half the battle. No one is half the battle. Exactly. You know? So there you go. All right, uh, Eve Rose, were there any things that you wanted to uh, bring up uh, before we move on? Uh, I do have a domain name already, so we're gonna work on the uh, w with the website. So I'll be getting with you, Quiz, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be getting with Brian Lake because he's the <laughs> business resource specialist of the stars. All right, Mike, uh, you, you look like you're back and you have some mic capability. Was there another question that you may have had, my friend? <laughs> yeah, I, I had a hard time getting back on. I don't know what happened, but. Um, yeah, I just wanted to relate to the the, the Click Magic software um, uh, program, and uh, I don't know how much you've looked into it, Brian, but it, it's actually pretty cool, it, and it does cost a little bit. I think it's like 17 bucks a month, but um, what I found out, I went through it pretty exclusively um, yesterday, and you can actually set it up to, to where every time somebody clicks one of your links within Facebook, um, it'll it'll start showing up on all their Facebook posts or, or on every time they log into Facebook, your ad will show up on their page on their timeline. Um, so it's it's actually pretty cool software. Um, it's actually a pretty cool program. If you if you really delve into it, you can set up uh, team rotators. Um, you can do all kinds of cool stuff with the Click Magic uh, program. Um, and it's, it's worth looking into. I, I looked into it pretty in-depthly, and um, I, I'm using it currently. I, I mean, I haven't, got, I haven't really got the full effect of it yet, but, but uh, I've been using it, and it's, it's pretty cool software. And like I said, uh, you, can, you can pay for you know, a year at a time. It's a little bit more expensive, but if you just want to do the monthly, the, the bottom line is it's 17 bucks a month. And uh, if you want to check into it, just check into it because, it's like I said, I think it's really – cool stuff for tracking um, so that's I guess that's all I gotta say yeah and, uh, and uh, I like the fact that it's only $17 a month also and uh, as Quizmax saying social media professionals I'm always looking for different ways of engaging people do social media so that sounds really cool and like something useful and uh, Brian let me ask you a question all right how do you feel about linking social media with this uh, domain mania that you're talking about right now with us Uh, Brian, if you could unmute your mic. Uh, Quiz, you asked me um, how, how do I like linking social media with what? I was saying uh, how do you feel about linking social media with this domain mania that you've been uh, exposing us to and the people at home? Well, I'm not really sure what you mean by that, but um, I'm going to go to my Branding Made Easy site here and um, with within a this would be an example of a okay hello world here would be an example of a blog post. It doesn't show it here, but I'm I'm going to be having my my Facebook and my Twitter and my YouTube and all that. Do, do you see where my cursor is on my screen? Right. Yeah. Um, there's an area right here where my uh, my my social media links are going to be listed every time on every one of my blog posts. So does that is that what you're talking about? Yeah, pretty much. That's what I'm talking about. How do you link your social media in with your brand? 
uh, to make it that it's one shop stop shopping. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because uh, with social media, we know, as Sean Roberts was alluding to, uh, that you can go to one site. Like I'll go on my TSU site and I'll send out uh, a message on my TSU site platform and it'll go directly to my Twitter. So I don't have to go on Twitter directly. I can actually send out the same message from that and uh, send it out to Instagram and also send it out to Facebook or what have you. So, um, yeah, I think that that's something that I wanted to just basically get your take on in regard to your branding with your social media. Right, and with, uh, with a blog, there's something called widgets, and you're able to go into your uh, – like I'm, I'm logged into my blog here, so I can go right to my dashboard or I can go right here and set up my widgets. And, you know, essentially widgets are a place where – where there are some built-in widgets you can use. You can also, if you know a little bit of HTML and JavaScript programming, you can create widgets. But it basically takes content um, you know, from this site and other sites, and it allows you to display it on a blog. Now, a lot of popular things people like to do are they like to put a Facebook like box here. And essentially, I'm trying to think of a, I can't think of a blog we could go to real quick that would have one. But, um, that's a, that's a way where you can also let people be aware that you have a Facebook fan page. So this is this is for a, a, a business fan page, not necessarily your, like the, the little links up at the top would be for my profile page, but I could also emphasize my fan page through a widget. And I'm, I'm also looking into, I'm starting to use Skype a lot more, so I'm, I'm looking for a way to um, where I can integrate. I haven't found one yet, but I've been looking <laughs> for a way I can integrate Skype into my blog as well. So I can also, also, uh, I, I have a cell phone that's dedicated to my network marketing business 24 hours a day. So um, I want to develop a way where people can uh, just put in a little message and it'll immediately, right from my blog, it'll immediately go right to my cell phone. Oh, Brian, I, I got news for you. I, I actually found a widget that accomplishes that, so I'll be more than happy to share it for you later on. Okay, that's awesome. And Michael brought up um, the Facebook retargeting uh, traffic, so I want to show you how the, how to do that on, on TrackMe. Is you, there's a little wrench here, and that's your settings. You go into that. Um, for some reason, it brings this up. Um, and then you go into settings again here. And then down here, where it says optional JavaScript, there's a big box. This is where you would put in the code for any kind of uh, um, tra other trackers or retargeting pixels. So that's you, you put that in there, click save, and then um, through through track.me, they're all set up and ready to go for uh, for the retargeting pixels and so forth. So this the, the one I'm talking about here, uh, track.me. Um, under uh, you can view your referrals I think it's under maybe is it promo materials yeah I think promo materials you can see your referral link and then through that referral link um, you can refer other people and you actually get um, you get a 30% commission for referring other people so I was going to ask you uh, Michael, do you, the one that you're talking about, do they pay a referral commission as well? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure uh, if they if they have an affiliate program where they pay referral commissions or not. Um, I haven't looked that far into it, but I know they do have that that Facebook retargeting. Um, they, you just go in, you go into Facebook and you create an audience, and then Facebook gives you the, the pixel code, and then you paste it into Click Magic, and then as you do that, every link you use in through there retargets people uh, to you know to Facebook, retargets it through Facebook. So that's uh, that's as far as I've gotten with that. So I don't know uh, I don't know about any kind of a referral program yet though. So um, what I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about next week, I'm going to talk about an intro to funnels. And I'll bring myself up here again. Um, when, you, when you have a, a lead capture page, and let's say you set up a link tracker to that lead capture page, you can, you can do an initial Facebook retargeting pixel, and that will manage, 
that will track the custom audience like Michael was talking about on all the people who initially hit your landing page. And then on your confirmation page, which is after they opt in, they've already submitted their email address and hit submit, they're going to be added. The way I'm going to help you set up a, a uh, funnel is they'll be on your autoresponder, your broadcast list. They'll also be tracked through the Facebook retargeting. But um, then on the confirmation page, you actually set up another custom audience. And these are the people you know for sure have opted in. And they say that a, a really good marketer will get 20% opt-in rate, 20% subscription rate. Okay. Now, if you take the initial audience of people who came to your website and subtract the audience from the people who confirmed, you can do that within Facebook, you'll have the 80% who didn't opt in. And those are the people you really want to target because they're not yet on your list. The people you, you don't want to, because we're actually paying, we're paying per click to retarget those people. It's not, it's not free advertising. We can get, get it all done through Facebook, but we, have to, we do have to pay for it. But we only want to retarget the people who, um, who actually did not. The ones who didn't opt in. The ones who didn't opt in. Yep, the the ones ones didn't opt in. in. Because, uh, um, because those are the people we want to hit again. And there are statistics. I don't know the exact statistics, but there's some statistics from some of the top marketers that show how much more they've increased their sales by, by this retargeting process. Well, listen. We want to save some. Of, we want to save some of the magic for the next program. So, uh, what I want you to do is, if you have not, uh, if you have not done so by now, please be sure to subscribe, uh, or either subscribe to the YouTube channel that you find this posted on, or find Brian Lath, find my Brian Lath, find myself, Quizmatics, one of my social media professionals, and uh, get with the Dream Team. This is the stuff that we're doing right now. We're helping out people who are trying to take their career and online marketing to the next level, people who are independent business owners, IBOs, this is all stuff that's very useful to you. Whether you've been in the business for 22 years and just need a refresher, or whether you just step it in for two seconds and you're just getting your feet wet, why, why, why mess around with the rest when you get with the best? And uh, we appreciate you uh, tuning into this program. I look forward to more phenomenal program with Quizmax Presents. You can find all kinds of different types of programs and, and things I offer on my YouTube channel. But I really want you to pay attention to Brandon Made Easy, Brian Late, this guy right here is building his brand on YouTube right now. And this content is also going to back up his website, also going to back up his blog, and definitely back up this domain name. And I'm glad and I'm, I'm appreciative that he's given us his, uh, his valuable time this evening to, uh, to break this down for us. So from us here at Quiz Magazine to you at home, thank you very much. We bid you a farewell, a good evening, and please stay tuned for the next wonderful uh, program, which will be when's the next time you're going to do a program, Brian? We're going to be doing this every week, every week at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Every week, 10 p.m. Eastern Time on Sundays. So uh, come bring and be, be sure to tell a friend, tell a friend, and spread the word. I always say that giving is living, sharing is caring, learning is earning. But I'm going to let you, let you know another one. Friending is trending. So tell a friend. All right, guys, take care. Have a phenomenal evening, and we appreciate having you on Brandon Made Easy with Brian Lake.